Teachers from around the nation now know how to better help LGBT students. Baby and Comb came from West Palm Beach, Florida, after a suicide at her school. The student had just come out as gay. I uh, don't think they should hide. Uh, it's, it's very sad that so many people have to not be who they are because of prejudice. Comb is one of hundreds of teachers who learned more about LGBT students. That's what I'm here. I really want to open up the doors at my school for those kids to come out and feel free to be who they are. The support organization SESCAL had its third annual National Educator Conference focusing on lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgender youth. This year's San Diego conference is entitled Supporting Students, Saving Lives. Sarah Train is a gay advocate from Los Angeles. She came here to show teachers techniques to make schools safe. It makes everybody feel like they are a part of a community and nobody's isolated and alone. The conference had a strong focus on bullying. Keynote speaker Gautam Raghavan, LGBT liaison from the White House, says he was bullied himself. In the last couple of years, we've seen so many kids who've um, been bullied or harassed, and some of, them, some of whom have taken their lives. Just like 14-year-old Jamie Rodemeyer, who killed himself after years of being bullied. Rodemeyer took his own life on September 18th, 2011. That's also a message No Hate is sending to high school students. The No Hate campaign is a broad effort to encourage LGBT people to speak openly about their lives. Great. Breaking the silence of LGBT issues in youth education is SESCAL's way to help provide a No Hate environment in schools today. These teachers will go back to their schools to help the people who aren't here, the students, gay and straight, to understand sexual orientation. In San Diego, I'm Tawny Della Pena for Valley View News.